You all look beautiful. Welcome, welcome. On behalf of Valerie and Russell, this amazing couple, it is my privilege to welcome you all here to the beautiful state of Hawaii and to this breathtaking venue, Kualoa Ranch, Paliku Gardens. You have all played such an important role in their lives, and they are honored and grateful that you made the journey to be here as they embark on their new journey of marriage. Let's take a breath, Russell. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Breathe it out, baby. So on their behalf, thank you for being present on their amazing and special day. Please be seated. Valerie and Russell, you have chosen this moment to promise your love to one another as you make one of the most important commitments of your life, the commitment of marriage. The decision to take your partner in his or her entirety as a lifelong companion and best friend. You fell in love with each other for the qualities, abilities, and the perspective on life that you each have. Promise to accept each other as you are today, this beautiful day, as well as the way you will be as you continue to grow individually in your own personal growth and together as one in your relationship. Respect each other and keep in mind that your interests, desires, and needs may be different, but no less important than the others. Communicate your true and honest feelings with sensitivity and compassion. Listen, co listen closely to one another with understanding and respect, and take care of each other no matter what. Is there two of us behind you? Nice. Wait. <laughs> uh, they wave back? Did they wave back? All right, the moment Russell and Valerie asked me to officiate their wedding, oh my gosh, I couldn't help but smile. All I will say, I will leave out the rest of the story, but all I will say is this, love can move mountains. Love can work miracles. Do you all agree? Yeah. Oh boy. In this case especially? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> love you, man. Being open and willing to love someone and let them love you. It's a beautiful thing and also one of the most difficult things. Valerie and Russell found each other at the right time and the rest is history. Actually, it's right because they literally swiped right. And that's how it started. <laughs> Amen. Their profiles, I don't know what pictures you all used, but the profiles they had brought them together. And it was their unique balance of chill vibes, common interests, a love for Hawaiian culture, and music that helped lay the foundation for their friendship and relationship. Things started wonderfully with texts, talking on the phone, dates, and got serious quick. Number one, because Valerie does not mess around. Right, family? Yeah. Oh gosh, they agree. <laughs> no hesitation. Number two, they both knew what they were looking for. And number three, allowing a person March 2020, to be inside of your bubble, that was a huge decision, wasn't it? Needless to say, Russell got the green light to be in the family's bubble. It was in this family bubble where their love and connection grew day by day. 
love between Valerie and Russell, of course, but also the love between the whole family with Vivian and Mason. Love, partnerships, and strong families, among other things, are built and forged through challenges and adversities, and this couple's pandemic bubble experience was no exception. And through that adversity, their bond grew. Russell found himself doing things around the house for Valerie and the kids that he thought he would never do. And Valerie found herself saving a lot of money because Russell was willing to do all of those things. <laughs> okay. So you have Russell, teacher, strong-willed, determined, protective, a sarcastic, comedic, and a very, very, very soft-spoken individual. I'm joking there, as you know. Seeing him open his heart and share his heart with Val has been such a, an amazing blessing to see over these last couple of years. And Valerie, you know, with your zest for life, openness to experience new things, to live life to the fullest, partnered with your caring heart and your fun, loving, radiant and spirit is just a perfect pair between you two. Your values, traits, and personalities have provided a sound balance in your union that will help you take on anything that comes your way as the years go by. So from Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. My prayer for you two is that you internalize and do your best every single day to live out the powerful words in that reading. That you're patient with one another. That you forgive each other as hard as that, as hard as that is. That you're an open book to one another. And that no matter what challenge comes across your path, you find a way as a team and as a family to overcome it. Remember words like, please, thank you, you're welcome, I'm sorry. <laughs> I use that one a lot, right, babe? I'm sorry, I love you. Those things go a long way in making your partner feel loved and appreciated. So I work at a senior living community where I'm around 80-year-olds, 90-year-olds, and 100-year-olds every single day. And some people who were married or currently married for 44, 55, 69 years even. And uh, just this last week, this gentleman told me, if you're not marrying your best friend, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> as simple as that message was, it made so much sense. And I see that ease with you both the flow, the calm, the peace you provide one another, and at the same time, the power that you both possess together. Keep that strong. When I see these long haul couples, it's not this glamorous, always rosy, superficial relationship, but a deep connection, a foundation of respect, trust, empathy, understanding, support, a sense of humor, and actually, at the end of the day, a grittiness from both partners to keep the relationship strong and together. Hair thins or it disappears like you and me, okay? <laughs> Bodies change, memories even fade, but the commitment of love can outlast all of that. Remember the person you fell in love with and you married is more than just the person that you see. It's their mind, it's their heart, it's their spirit. And that everybody is what today is about. Valerie and Russell embarking on this journey of love together, one with twists and turns, highs and lows and plateaus, but the commitment that you all make today can and will get you through all of that. As the years go by and the wrinkles start coming in, may they be wrinkles from smiles, laughter, and wonder. May your love be a model for your children to follow and build on. May you remember to make time for each other, whether it's at home, going on dates, traveling the world, or experiencing new things. By the way, Russell, Valerie really wants to go to Europe, <laughs> so remember that. Right? And finally, look at that. I got you. And finally, <laughs> look how happy you are. And finally, 
I pray your love only gets stronger through the years, that you enjoy every wonderful and happy experience, and that you continue to use any adversity or challenge as an opportunity to grow and strengthen your bond. I'm excited for you both, and I'm so confident that you'll continue to amaze those around you with the life that you and your family create and are blessed with. All right, so the love and marriage is a lot about the intangibles, the things that I spoke about. This beautiful couple wanted to make sure that the ceremony incorporated other physical representations of their union. So I invite your sponsors to join us to lay the veil over you. Let this veil be a symbol of the faithful love you have for each other. Through the passing of the years, let the veil remind you that you belong to each other and to no one else. I invite your sponsors to join us to place the cord over you both. This cord symbolizes an infinite bond of love you share that keeps your relationship strong in the face of adversity, as well as that you are both no longer two, but one in marriage. May this cord remind you to face your life together courageously and to be mutual in support of each other in carrying out your duties and responsibilities as a couple. And may your love grow stronger and bind you closer together through the years. Lastly, we'll do the exchanging of the coins. The coins are a reminder of good stewardship for all couples, that they will mutually support each other, their children, and the world around them. May God bless these coins that symbolize mutual support and responsibility. Okay, I would like to call again the sponsors to remove the coins, the cord, and the veil. Getting your cardio workout for the day, thank you. going to face each other and we're going to do the exchanging of the vows marriage is a total commitment of two people to each other for a lifetime valerie and russell you will now face one another and make your pledges of love and devotion doing our vows a few words came to mind the first one was commitment I promise to take care of you and the kids for as long as I live I promise to be supportive in all that you do and strive 
Second was teamwork. I promise to work with with you on our marriage every day. Sorry, I don't know how to read. I'm just a jerk. Uh, <laughs> I promise to listen and, <laughs> and consult with you on issues we may have and love. I promise to love you and the kids unconditionally. You've shown me a love. Okay. <laughs> You've shown me a love that I've never had. Someone who has seen the downfalls, the weaknesses, and the bad habits, but you choose to focus on my strengths, my potential, and my worth. And for that, I will forever live my life doing the same for you. So I just want to thank you for showing not only me, but everybody else, even though Auntie Doris, I know she's watching, uh, was very worried about me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you showed everybody that pigs can fly <laughs> and that miracles do happen. <laughs> Russell, I swipe right on you on an online app and here we are two years later. <laughs> you came into my life not knowing what you were getting into, but you did it diving in head first. And what we have together, what we built together came so fast. I promise to love you, to be honest with you, the good and the bad, and to always be open in how I feel. I promise to be your motivator and cheerleader in all your endeavors, even if I don't say it out loud. I promise to share new experiences, adventures, and make memories with you and our kids. I promise to be there for you and to love you unconditionally as your wife, your lover, and best friend through the good and bad times. Russell, do you take Valerie not only as your best friend, but now as your wife to live with, to laugh with, to dream with, to love for all time? Do you promise to be faithful to her in thought, word, and act for all the days of your life? <laughs> Valerie, do you take Russell not only as your best friend, but now as your husband to live with, laugh with, to dream with, and to love for all time? I do. That's how you do it. You look and then. <laughs> do you of course. Of course, right? Do you promise to be faithful to him in thought, word, and act for all the days of your life? I do. All right, next we'll have the rings. <laughs> the rings that will be exchanged right now represent the promises you have just made. May they remind you every day that your marriage is not a destination, but a journey and that your love, like the circle, like these rings, are never ending. Russell, please put the ring on Val's finger. And then Val, please do the same for Russell. Okay. How does it feel? Okay. All right. Like it was meant to be, amen. All right. Hey, today is a celebration, folks. Let it also be a moment of dedication. The world does such a good job of reminding us of just how every marriage needs the love, nurturing, and support of family and friends. As Valerie and Russell have promised themselves to one another, let us also make a promise to support their marriage in spirit and friendship by helping them to keep the vows that they have just made. We honor them and help them to achieve the balance in their lives that they need to be both happy and successful. Valerie and Russell, as you continue your journey through life together, may you continue to love one another through all the years together, remembering always to be each other's best friend, 
never taking for granted this precious gift of love and time. Love and time that you have for each other. May your love touch and enrich all of those you come in contact with. And may God continue to shower blessings on your family now and forever. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And wait for this one. You may kiss the bride. They counted. That was three seconds. All right, folks. It is my honor and great privilege and pleasure to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Russell and Valerie Jones. Thank <laughs> you. 